Hey, I met Ray Ray in real life, man. His teeth are all rot. Brush his teeth. Uh, he got a fucking A, man. He went to the restroom. Every time I went to the restroom, he asked uh, a grown man to go with him. And he'd walk in there. <laughs> he was like a two-year-old. And he'd pull his pants down to his ankles to piss in the toilet. <laughs> Ray Ray, why would you drop your drawers all the way to the ground? You know what I'm saying? Keep them, hold them shit. Look. Huh? You gotta hold that little wee wee with one hand and hold them drawers up with the other, man. Remember, you could just unzip the zipper part, man. Boy, you probably don't know how to work the zipper. You probably need Velcro. That would itchy scratchy your your little root root. That would itchy scratchy your little run and whatnot. it. Oh, God damn it, Ray Ray. Ray Ray, man. Uh, so they would have to pick his drawers back up off the ground? So one of the four times he went... P with help. So one of the four times he went P with help uh, with with an observer because he asked for it. <laughs> I swore it was a secrecy. I'd never tell. He started crying because he couldn't get his underwear back up. <laughs> he was struggling to pull his underwear up. My boy said, he said, you can't tell nobody. He said, I felt bad. He said, that motherfucker started crying. Can you, can I get off the mic? I ain't saying nothing that's factual. All right? Chuck Steve, he went from room running. Like, you so afraid of him. He could have whooped your ass right in front of the, those cops. How the hell did he struggle to pull up his fucking underwear? Does his arms not work? Does his hands not work? Ray Ray, man, you dropped your underwears too? Ray Ray, man, you had to boohoo about some underwear? Some tiny daddy whities some fruit of the loom boohoos? Oh, god damn. Did he sing a little song while he was peeing? Oh, oh my God, Lulu, Lulu, got some apples, Lulu, Lulu, you got some too, Lulu, Lulu, oh my God, oh my God, why do you drop your pants to the floor, Ray Ray, that's fucking weird, like Butters in South Park, you know what I mean, that's fucking, oh, I, can't, I can't make fun of Ray Ray, it's, it's, it's not that it's not right, it's just too easy. It's too easy. God. The Zionist only friends, Ray Ray and HRL. That's depressing. It's so depressing. Poor kid. Poor dumb fucking bastard. Uh, uh, fuck Ray Ray and his crack core mom. The song was I Make Pee Pee by Ray Ray. I make pee pee, I make pee pee, bingo bingo. I make pee pee, I make pee pee, pee 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 pee, bingo bingo, pee pee pee. <laughs> Come on, Ray Ray, you bingo bingo bastard. It's your bozo ass on the button. Bingo, bango, bozo ass. No, nah, man, he has SpongeBob, like like little kid SpongeBob underwear on, like undies, underoos. <laughs> he dropped his underwear and his pants to his ankles each and every time. He cried because he couldn't get his SpongeBob's up. Listen, well, I'm doing adult things. Yeah, I keep him beyond this mic. Competing ball. Who stalks who? Right, losers? And Trucker Steve, you don't want to see me in real life. You don't want to see me. And Contract Killer, you're a loser. If you see Steve in real life, what are you going to do? Throw your SpongeBob underwear at him? You go ask Steve to fucking pull up his pants. 
that's what you would ask Steve for help. Ray, Ray, why did you need an observer to go to the back? You called him the observer. What what would you need somebody to go to the bathroom with you for, man? Oh hell no! I'd have been like, nah, motherfucker, on your own. He said, but, but, but McLaughlin, could, could, could you help me pull my, pull, pull my pants up? I can't, can't get my underwear. McLaughlin says, listen, Ray Ray, we're friends, Ray Ray. Okay, Ray Ray, but I, 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 that's not something that I'm going to be able to help you with, Ray. And he just started crying. This motherfucker started crying. All, all lies. All lies, but keep on now, now we live. I mean, all you losers, man, because I'm living a better life than you. Are you all on a walkie talkie app talking about all the men? That's what you're doing, Ray Ray. And everything I've said is truthful. I don't need to lie on you, Ray Ray. Okay. I think that I think that Ronan should. Um, Gosh, where's he going to get money for airfare? I think Ronan should find a way to the Bronx to go stay with Ray Ray, and they could hang out for a couple of weeks. And Ronan could rape retarded Ray Ray in the ass. Yeah. Wait, you're living a better life than us, but you're asking grown men to pull up your pants. Listen, I'm taught to drive, to drive addict people, so get, get out of my way. Back to your truck, Steve. You lost everything. You lost Danny. You lost your job. You lost your manhood. You piece of trash. No, 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 no. Um, Danny was my friend. No big loss. I did not lose my job. I still am working in the same place I was at when I met you. You dumb fuck. Um... You live in the Bronx. You live in a fucking 55-story building with a window air conditioner. And your dad masturbates in the next room over. Sometimes your dad masturbates in your ass. Better life than us. Your dad fucking spunks out the window, Ray Ray. And skeets on the little people walking by. Ray Ray trying to say narrative and said nigga live. I heard him say it. Bingo, bingo. Ray, Ray, <clears throat> Ray, Ray, get this mic. Get this mic, Ray, Ray. You can tell us the story how Trucker Steve ran from Roadrunner. Hell yeah. It was a story of a lovely lady, and her name was Ray, Ray. Ray Ray, man. Trucker Steve, man, tell us more about Ray Ray when you met him in real life, man. What did Ray Ray order? What did he eat? Who paid for his food? You know, give us the details. What did he drink? Oh, shit. We went to this fancy restaurant, right? Not real fancy, but better than McDonald's fancy, right? Pretty nice place. High, like a middle high-end place. There was, what, 12 of us, 14 of us? Uh, J.J. Peppers paid for his meal. He ordered him a, a, a beverage, an adult beverage. Ray Ray put his lips on the glass and he never drank none of it. Sat there the whole time. And he ordered chicken nuggets off the kid's meal. I swear to fucking God. We were all just fucking laughing. Like, what the fuck? Ray Ray, you order you order chicken tendies? Uh yeah, you order some nuggets, Ray Ray. What again? French fries? That's what them autistic little bastards get. Finger food. Did he use forks or spoons? Wait, what'd you say? He put his lips on the sneeze guard of the fucking salad bar or something and, and was blowing bubbles? Like, like putting his face up to the window or something? What did he do? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ray, why do you need somebody to come to the bathroom with you? Afraid you're going to get raped again? Something? Need somebody to help you pull up your pants from the floor? I'm so confused. Why do you need a buddy? We used a buddy, a buddy system in case I fall down. Uh. 
so the the table we were at was a great big round table i'll post pictures later we, i got pictures of all of us and i got pictures of ray ray's meal if he denies it i've got pictures of him with the drink and the meal like we were making fun of him right the restroom was right there there was like five five tables between us and the restroom but it was straight over like if we were eating we're looking at the restroom door across the way so there was no reason he needed a, a bodyguard right uh, Steve, if you could post those pictures, you know, when you get time, sir, I know you're a busy man, but uh, we'll get you, we'll make sure to get you a Bingo Bango award today for Bingo Bango Bozo Ray Ray. So the, the Roadrunner situation, this motherfucker's in a room one day, right? And he's telling these people, he's like, ah, oh, I got connections. I'm in law enforcement. You know what I do. I, I'm going to get that guy arrested for you. This guy's like in Florida or something. I said, man, quit giving these people false hopes. You ain't nothing but a warehouse worker. Quit lying to these people. He got mad. He said, you got to whoop my ass for exposing him. He was pissed. Okay. <clears throat> Keep going. Fast forward to. Yeah, you got to quit taking the button, my man. So uh, when he, when I first brought everybody, and you were involved, and I brought all you guys, brought you and then everybody else, you, you and I brought everybody over to that app, right? So when we brought that motherfucker over there, like the first day he was there, he heard me and Katie uh, from uh, the UK and Eric, a gay guy from Boston, talking about a meetup. She was going to fly from the UK. This motherfucker's talking about, I'm going to come pick you guys up. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. We're going to go here. And they're like, why is this creepy dude trying to trying to come in on our on our vacation? So I hit Roadrunner up. I said, look, dude, these people don't know you. You got to stop, man. You're not invited. You can't come. You can't interject yourself. Like, stop. So moving forward three months, I just told the part where he got mad. I told him quit pretending to be a cop, et cetera. Uh, so he's going to whoop my ass. But he doesn't say it to my face. He's behind the scenes of some guy that lives up there in New York. They're going to gang up on me and, and show up to this fucking gathering unannounced and jump me so i find out right so i'm like fuck you motherfucker so the day of the meetup right we're all hanging out on friday saturday comes we're running around walking around in the uh, me and jj peppers and a bunch of other people we're, we're at the m m factory uh in the uh, uh what, what's it called the um shit in new york city uh times square right we're taking pictures we're eating we're doing our thing right just hanging out this motherfucker's on a train for hours talking about i'm coming to the city i'm gonna fuck trucker steve up i'm gonna this i'm gonna all this rah rah shit right so like four hours later, we're, we're stringing him along, right? We, we get on video, we're at the M&M factory, but we're leaving. So this motherfucker runs in there and he's running through all four floors looking for us. Like we just fucking fuck with this dumb dude all day. So come like uh, in the afternoon at some point, the fucking dumbass Ray Ray and McLovin, they're like, oh, there's, there's, uh, what's his name? We're going to, we're going to go over and talk to him. So we all go over there. We all meet up, right? We're in Times Square. And this fucking roadrunner comes up screaming, I want you to hit me. I want you to hit me. And he's got fucking both corners of his mouth are like fucking white, slobbery white. And he's spitting while he talks. It's fucking disgusting. He's like, I want you to hit me. Just repeatedly saying it. I said, look, man, you were told not to come. You've been repeatedly told you're not welcome here. I told you repeatedly nobody's going to fight. This is for uh, Katie coming from the UK for her vacation. Like, you're not going to come in here and fuck it up for her. Just get lost. He kept screaming, raving, ranting, whatever. Now, if this man was going to beat me up, why didn't he swing? So I took out $20 bills and ripped them up in little pieces and sprinkled them on his feet. And I said, look, motherfucker, I'm a $250,000 a year guy. You're a $40 bum begging on Facebook for somebody could get you 40 bucks. He says, I I'm on uh, I'm on workers' comp. I got hurt at work in three different places. That's why that's why I'm begging for money. I said, well, there's money I'm ripping up. Get on your knees and beg, bitch. Now you tell me who had the obligation to hit who. You were gonna do a you were gonna do a goddamn thing, truck and thief. All right. If he would have punched you, you would have you would have ran. All right. You would have got drunk and cried and said, "Oh, he hit me first. You mean I would have cried like you did when you asked McLovin if he could help you? Pull your pant, your 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 SpongeBob SquarePants underwear up, and then he said no. And so you started crying. Is that the kind of crying you're talking about, or the crying when you asked him if he would buy you a donut at Dunkin' Donuts, and he told you no when you cried? Ray, Ray, man, why you got to pee four times during one little dinner session? You got a little prostate issue on you, Ray, Ray? Bingo, bango, bongo, bozo. I'll be back, guys. My girlfriend's calling.
she's real, so I didn't have to go to an airport and pretend I had a girlfriend. So, Skip, wait, hold on. Hold on. Trucker Steve is not going to admit this, but what about the allegations of Trucker Steve running to the police that was nearby? Mary, did that happen? Be honest. That He left that one little detail out. Bingo, bingo. Uh, Ray, Ray, what did you think about Trucker Steve at this dinner? Ray, why do you pull your pants all the way to the floor to go pee? Is that how they taught you? So you don't pee on your pants? Or uh, I can't figure that out. That's my main, my main concern, my main question. Why do you drop your pants all the way to the floor just to go pee pee? Can you just answer that so we can move on from this? Yeah, Trucker Steve left that one detail out. He ran to a cop that was nearby. Hell yeah. Ray, pants to the floor. Why? Why, Ray? Yep, H1. He ran to the nearest cop. He let that part out because he didn't want to be a man body. He thinks he's this tough guy, but he's not. And Michael, and Michael Howard, please don't talk to me, bitch. Okay, Reynaldo Gonzalez. Uh, I said someone named I have power, like the Jew, uh, Michael Howard. Oh, God, let me cry. My, my, my fucking government name. Oh, no. Oh, no. Alita said my name. Oh, oh, God. But why do you, uh, drop your pants to the floor when you go pee? That's not normal. You're not supposed to drop your pants to the floor to go pee. Why can't you use the zipper? Or something? Why do you drop your pants all the way to the floor, Ray? Ray, Ray, man. Ray, Ray, why your belly got so big, too? You was eating too much, man. You was getting big and fat. You look like out there in Garfield the cat in the belly looking ass. Yeah, I seen that picture. You got chubby. The chubby as shit, man. Sitting around eating shitty food. Yeah, but why do you drop your pants to the floor to go pee pee? Ray? Ray, Ray, go pee pee. Ray, Ray, pee pee. Ray, Ray, pee pee. Pee pee, Ray, Ray. Can you come to? Can you come with? Can you come with me to the bathroom? Uh, McLovin. Anyways, I gotta get back. I gotta get into work. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Ray, Ray, ignore them. You know what to do. You can just. Make them go away. Just you can log out and ignore them <clears throat> if they're getting to you, or if they get to you. I know you're tough, but if you don't want to hear them no more, just log out. Um. Anyway, Lele, I asked you a question. Pants to the floor. Why? Why, buddy? Little buddy. Can you just tell me that? That's all I want to know. Why do you drop your pants all the way to the floor to go pee? 